Welcome back, everyone. It's time to see if we can end this leak with a bang. On the draw here, playing Sultai. Snow, I guess we can call it. Ugh, and that's not what I want to see here, okay. Um, Eldrassi Tron or Ordinary Tron. I don't even know what's worse. But I guess Green Tron is, is the worst. That matchup could be very, very hard. My plan is here to get a basic island, cycle the Astrolabe, and pray my opponent doesn't have turn 3 Tron. It's super tough. It makes a lot of sense that big mana decks um, are what prey on this deck. But uh, there's only so much I can do, right? I can go up to the fourth damping sphere if I really wanted to. But I don't know about that. Maybe the the um answer is just more cheap discard in the main deck. That that could be it actually. A way to hedge a little bit to make sure that turn one discard, turn two goif, turn three whatever disruption, charm, force negation, um and then just take it from there. That, that could that could be a way to hedge a little bit. The mana will get a little worse since I'll have to fetch Watery Grave turn one more often. Could consider second Snow Covered Swamp. Because I still really want to support the Archmage's Charm and uh, Cryptics. Oh well. That's a talk for another day. I'm gonna fetch up the island, cycle the astrolabe, and most likely draw a blank. Oh, okay, it wasn't a blank. At least that's not bad. So what do I do here? I'm most likely getting thought knotted next turn. Is that a reason to keep up fetch plus push? I think it just might be. I'll do that. I don't really want to get thought knotted. And if I do, I want to kill it right away. Hmm. So I guess I'm not getting thought knotted. Then I'm just going to cast the Ice Fang Cool on, on uh, end of turn. Cavern of Souls makes a lot of sense. But what they don't know is that I don't really have any... I'll just go for an island. Um, I don't have any counter magic going on right now. Which I guess I'm getting Thought Not Seared next turn. Okay, dismember on Kotal. It's totally fine. Hmm. So what I want to do here is cast Goif. Leave up fetch land push. In a matchup like this, thought scouring my opponent is a thing. So, as I expected, thought not seer can't get countered. I'll respond to the enter the battlefield trigger. Go look up a. This is actually tough because this astral ape helps a ton out with my mana right now. Maybe Swamp is just a way to do it. So I'll just kill it and start attacking. I have to, they'll pick a card from my hand. I don't even know what they're supposed to take here, but... Okay, I took the Euro. The Euro. Mm. Let's see here. What if I thought scour my opponent? Try and hit something like. So, what I'm missing out there? I'm missing sorcery. I don't play any of those, right? And planeswalker. 
I'll try. Did hit another goif, that's not bad. I like that a lot. Let's play another Tormagoyf. Tapped um, Water Grave and attack. So right now, Drown in the Lock is my answer to Reality Smasher. Force Negation is my answer to nonsense like um, all this dust. Okay, so we actually got game one against Eldrazi Tron. I'm very surprised. They made a very conservative play with um, Expedition Map, searching up Cavern of Souls. Um, I think that play is just too risky if you don't have any more lands um, or mana sources aside from your initial four. But I definitely like the play in a setting where you have at least one more land so you can cast out the Smashers. But uh, that's, it's pretty easy to say right now, right? I think that deck plays a single Cavern of Souls they can search up with Expedition Map. Question is, what do I cut to make room for these Damping Spheres? So once again, I feel like Thought Scour and Euro are on the chopping block, especially Euro. Getting that card into the yard, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's just drowning in the lock. Inquisition on the draw. I'll cut that. Force negation does take care of something like Karn. I like a couple of those. So right now I think it's gonna be drowned in the lock. Thought Scour is a cycler. Does get hit by Chalice, which is kind of bad. And what about disdainful stroke? I think I want those as well. So maybe the plan is cut one euro, one scour, add a couple of strokes. Strokes should be good once I get like control over the game, I guess you can say. Um But yeah, if they have their super fast draw, having leaving up two mana is not gonna be super realistic. When it keeps, what about this hand? Those astrolabes could be anything, except I'm paying a mana to find out what anything actually is. I'm gonna keep this. <laughs> this hand is even weak to chalice, and I have to force the chalice, and I'm back to kind of where I started um, in terms of card advantage or just number of cards I have available. I'm, I'm I'm comparing if I have to force negation I'm down a card. Then I might as well have taken the mulligan if you know what I mean. I guess I guess you can't really it's not a one to one comparison obviously, but it's just something to think about. Okay, they found a waste that doesn't do a whole lot. Another goif. I think that's just my way my way to try and steal the game is getting some goifs into play. Just member stops that plan cult. So does partial contortion. Only instant a land was in the graveyard. What's up here? Is it a thought knot? Yeah, it's a thought knot seer. That's too bad. Partial contortion is not supposed to take Tarmogoyf out, but it did there. Yeah. That's a great draw. That's a very good draw. Let's kill off that Thought Nuts here while I have the chance. I draw into Damping Sphere. Okay. Let's cycle another Astral Ape. And Uru is also a good one. So, what am I losing to now? I think I'm losing to Reality Smasher. And unfortunately, that's what I have coming. Hmm. Okay. So, I like this. 
Assassin's Trophy. Then I just called Euro. This is this is kind of perfect. Assassin's Trophy, the Smasher. I just called Euro. Smasher hits the bin. And then I play the Damping Sphere. I think I'm supposed to take a swamp here so I can play around potential Karn in the future. If that card shuts down my uh, Astral Apes. I don't care about Mind Stone. So no Thought Nuts here. Pass the turn. Okay. So I will get Euro into play now. Green. Get rid of one, two, three, four, five. Done. Draw a card. Gain some somewhat valuable life back. Hmm. I'm not going to shock myself here. I think there's a reasonable chance that. Yeah, I'm even going to play out this one. There's a reasonable chance that I'm going to have to force a negation. Once upon a time, he plays around force a negation. Brilliantly there. Ursus power plant. Okay. So that means my opponent has assembled Tron. That doesn't really do anything in the face of... In the face of Euro. So what about Karn? What can that card get? I think that card will get Ensnaring Bridge regardless. I'm gonna force it. Wow, there's the concession! <laughs> what a sweet League of Magic. Um, we managed to take down all of our five matches with the first draft of Sultai Snow. Um, I w it was kind of worrying that let us just pull out the deck here real quick. It was kind of worrying that Euro didn't exactly pull its weight in that many matchups. I didn't play against Control, I didn't play against Midrange, um, Black-based Midrange, that is, and I didn't play against Monored Prowess, so the Euros were kind of a mess, or miss, rather. Um, I had to trim or board them out in multiple matchups, but they prove very powerful against Mill and also against Eldrazitron. 6-6 six, six is a perfect size against Reality Smasher and against uh, Dismember. Um, in the meanwhile, while playing the League, I added the second Breeding Pool. So the list in the League was minus one Breeding Pool plus one Island. But I think I will... Um, I'll switch that around at least. And then I'm... Uh, then I added a, another Thought Season in the place of the second Drowned in the Lock. Drowned in the Lock is a very good flexible card, but can be a liability in, in uh, especially the tough matchups like um, Eldrazi Tron, Regular Tron, and Amulet, as we also saw in this league. So, yeah, all in all, I think this deck is pretty awesome. Um, you have tools against most of the field. You have a powerful proactive plan with Tormagoyf, um Euro, you have a lot of value via Jace the Mind Sculptor, Ice Fang Codal, and just some solid magic cards and Fatal Push and Discard Spells. Um, so I'm definitely gonna gonna keep playing this deck. Um, and yeah, follow me on Twitter, follow my perfect sponsor, Mage Marker. They do a hell of a job for the magic community. Um, I really like how they uh, combat fakes um, uh, around the world. They try and make sure that whenever you buy a card you actually end up with a real card and not something you realize a year later um, it's a fake which is pretty awesome uh, development in the magic field so yeah uh, yeah I'm just super thankful for you guys to uh, stop by today and uh, hopefully we can do this another time I'll see ya